Sips up. Y'all see my original artwork? Thanks. Is that from painting sips? No, this is just me wanting to paint. Okay. So yeah, the the circles, the circles are lit. Mm -hmm. I like the circles. That. Or the circles. Is this as an adult or a child? As an adult. <laughs> Shut what up, Lou. Hey, hey, I was asking. I, I didn't know. Hey, Lou. Hey, y'all. Hey, Meg. What up, Lou? What up, girl? What up, Cal? What up, BT? What up, hey, Lou? What's Lulu. up, Lulu? Lulu's been on vacation for three months. Right. Living your no, best life. It just looked like it. I've been here doing nothing. No, <laughs> right, that wasn't LA water. I know what LA water looked Let like. It out. <laughs> no, I did. I did about eight photo shoots in Jamaica, and I'm just letting them air out through time. Mm, yeah, right. she did. She also almost got kidnapped in Jamaica, but that's a, that's another story. That's a good Ooh. story to hear. They almost took your goddamn body. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I know that song. I know that song too, guys. We be making Kev listen to rap music when we on tour. He be like, man, what's up? He be like, bro. spit up. Yo, got it. I listen what you be listening to, Kev? Anita Baker just every day? 40, no, he just started 40, listening 40, to her last year. 42 Doug. Do, oh my do, God. <laughs> are you Googling oh. stuff right now? NBA Young Boy. <laughs> Roderick Rich. G give me some NBA young boy lyric. That boy say Roderick Rich. Roderick? <laughs> I ain't gonna That's hold you. I, can't name, I cannot name one NBA young boy lyric. <laughs> Nobody um, can. I be in the NBA. I be young boy. I be in the NBA. I be young boy. That's actually better than what he do. So <laughs> don't give him no, no ideas, Kev. What does the NBA stand for in, in that? Never, Never broke, broke again. again. I thought it was not a bitch ass. No, but <laughs> <laughs> you broke boys. He uh he made the second most money last year out of all the rappers, which is crazy to me. Did he really? Seriously? Yeah. It was, what are his it was songs? Like, it was like little baby, him, then Meg the Stallion. I was like, wait a minute. What is he going on in the world? He, are you all the way clear from COVID? You good now? Yeah, it's it, yeah, you know how that shit go, man. I had COVID in July the first. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't, you know, that sometimes with the test, it, it linger for a little bit, but talk to Dr. Hospital, they're like, you, you've been not contagious for about two weeks. I was like, well, I'm gonna wait another week. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was gonna invite you up here, man, to um, shoot um, Damon and that you scared with us, with me and Pat. Damon yeah, and uh, man, you scared. You probably do it on Zoom. You know what I'm saying? You don't want you know your saying. COVID breath in the office. That's what just leave the window open. If you let's just give it. Let's give it another one or two. Weeks. I'm, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a test later this week, but you know they didn't already tell me they was like that test might come back positive for a while. So. What? Yeah. It should. Yeah. They it's, say it's your it. test can come back positive for like three or six months after that. What? Yeah. It's rare, but it does happen. Yeah. So. Yeah, Meg, you was vitted up, weren't you? I had, yeah in February I had COVID. Oh, I had the vid. I had mm -hmm. the vid already, girl. You better go ahead and just get it real quick. No, I'm good. Man. This ain't chicken pox. This is not chicken pox. Don't, don't, don't. This, is, don't, hey. this Lulu, is not don't, how that works. I don't Lulu, know. I'm don't good. hate. Your boy out here lost 19. You hear me? Oh, you hear me? Man, look at they you. They out here, Big Slim. He cut that COVID you Slim, know, nigga. You gonna get that shit right back in like a week. That nigga lost. Right? I lost. I went from 247 to 214. Like, he wasn't hey. eating uh, BT? I know I had my appetite and everything, but that V was <laughs> calories. <laughs> I was like, hey, Am talk I about the positives. Me. Too. You Am got to count the one? blessings, all of them. Hey, man, I ain't going to hold you, man. Give me a little kickstart. It don't sound like the worst thing. <laughs> now all I got to do is maintain, Kev. I just got to maintain. Be, you know what I'm saying? Everything else being healthy, you could just kickstart. When Tony uh, burst his appendix, he was like, he lost 40 pounds. I was like, so what was you eating to get the how did you get yeah. uh, the appendix? The appendicitis. <laughs> That's that same jug of water BT had from Zuma with the homies. He ain't never listen, really listen, that jug of water. <laughs> I've never the seen same water. water. <laughs> he only drink water when he's on camera. Yeah, he be fronting. <laughs> you don't bottle. even know how to hold it properly. You like, oh, it's just a lot of water. I just <laughs> like, like a before. baby trying to hold their own bottle. Oh, look. look. <laughs> It is so much water. Mm -hmm. Lazy neck ass baby. 
<laughs> Damn, am I the only one on this panel that hasn't had the vid? I ain't got. I never got it diagnosed, Lou. But I, I was sick in February, and I had never been that sick in my life. You had and I lost shit. my sense of taste for sure. I don't you know. Had about it. You had it. You had it. That was, I, that I, was I before was the world shut down. I, I said I, yeah. ain't, I ain't had it diagnosed. I got it from Tahir. Mm. Yeah, Tahir look dirty. <laughs> Y'all such like niggas. Like that's I'm gonna wait till she get tested to, to see if she got it. Happened. This is what happened. We were we were on tour last year. And it was February. We were in Virginia. We had just left, I think, Norfolk or somewhere, and we were headed Virginia to Virginia Beach, Funny Bone. We were we were headed to Virginia oh, Beach, I love that club. Bone, and I caught it that morning. But my mine was like a thirty six hour bug. I was good. Like I was sick on Sunday. I was good that Monday. Mm. I, I, I felt eighty five percent the whole time. You were sick for ten days, Kel. I was I was sick for ten, and I was like body aches, chill, fever. Them first couple of days. And I was all over LA, meeting, hugging, you know. <laughs> okay, it was patient zero in I LA. Patient zero. Big I round was at the, uh, that long. Even when I, I was caught, at the. What'd you say to here? I said even when I caught COVID, I only had it for like five days. Hey, Kev, you was a Christian outbreak monkey. Like, <laughs> blessings and COVID just around the city, huh? Just, right. Right. I was having all so kinds of meetings. Boy. I was at the Soho House. And they ordered lamb, and I was like, "Bro, I can't even taste this." Is and I mm. know this was expensive for whoever paid for this. Mm. Hey, and um, Soho House lamb is popping, though. Bro, and I was mad because I was like, "Bro, I was really <laughs> excited about that meeting more for eating at the Soho House than like the deal went nowhere." Who did, <laughs> you, kill? Who did you kill? But, but that bland lamb, though. So the bland <laughs> lamb was lamb. worse than than the than the deal going nowhere. The lamb chops didn't hit. <laughs> That's was that was sadder. I'm just hoping people start taking it seriously and start back wearing their mask outside because, man, I don't want the world to shut down again. But if it do... The world is not going to shut down again to here. It can't afford it. We had to shut down last year because we didn't know what it was. We didn't know how to stop it. There was no way to test for it. And there was no vaccine. And there there wasn't wasn't enough hospital beds. Wasn't enough hospital beds. We don't know what's going on. Now with the vaccine, we know, you know, you know what it is at least to test for it. But I don't think the American economy can withstand another they, shutdown. They cannot. They know at this point they like whoever gonna die gonna die. Okay, so they not worried Damn, about man. it. They don't, see, like, they don't care at this point. They like oh we told, told you where the mask. Yeah, they do not we care. told you where to we told you. You, you don't do it. That's on you. And that's why they were like, bro, we got this vaccine. Y'all can go back to work because I think the main thing is companies can't afford to um be have you know be closed for for months at a time you know remember how many places closed and never came back man yeah. a, lot of, a lot of businesses man comedy union about. tweeted yesterday i was like man what, what you mean why y'all tweeting somebody <laughs> got a show i was like Nigga, when y'all gonna have some shows <laughs> Who said the comedy that? union <laughs> the comedy union tweeted somebody's flyer out for a show i was like Nigga, whoa, i miss y'all comedy, oh, not at the comedy. the comedy union ain't coming back and that ain't never coming back that shit hurt, man. That shit hurt. You know what's crazy? Bro, the comedy like, union, nigga. That, the comedy union was the only place I could perform in LA. When I first got here, mm-hmm. the Laugh Factory and Comedy Store and uh, the Improv, them niggas was not trying to hear none of that. If it wasn't yeah. for the comedy union, I couldn't even have said I ever performed in LA. They was like, shut up, church boy. Get out of here. <laughs> you and your Christian followers. Get out of here. We cursing this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously though, <laughs> there's there's places that are not coming back, and the comedy union, as sad to say, because it's solo. The improv, yeah. they have the nation. You know what I'm saying? They are yeah. they're together. Them, it's them crazy standalone point. clubs, it's tough for them to survive. Here's the crazy yeah. part, Kev. When we did, when we were doing shows at the comedy union to prepare for the tour, every show was sold out. Mm-hmm. If the comedy union, I mean, if the if the Laugh Factory or the comedy store had had booked Kev, they would have had sold out shows. But they was like, "Yeah, Mister on stage, we're good." Okay? <laughs> Bro, comedy is. I I didn't. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Being doing the like church comedy and playmakers and book, getting booked solo for those shows, mm-hmm. I didn't realize it. Comedy is its own world with its own rules, its own power players and stuff. It's a lot more restrictive than I even realized. The only thing that really helped me is that I could show people I had already sold all these tickets. Mm. Otherwise, 
you got to go and feature here and this guy's got to see you. You got to do this and you got to get passed on. You got to kiss this guy's ring. You got to hang outside and go to Denny's. I was like, nigga, what oh, the, the Denny's? The Listen. No, the no, no, I'm not even joking. Yo, I know the Denny's. I had to do that. And I was like, what, what the, the heck? fuck? Am I at Denny's? I don't even my need this shit. Lulu, my wife, when they was tell, tone, I, I used to follow Tony, BT. They used to all be like, bro, you have to come not perform. Kick pull it. up, Kick be it. in the crowd, hang out and go to Denny's literally until two in the morning. And I was like, yeah. okay, listen, this is how you get in. She was like, you're not getting in. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, laughs> there. Like, you're not gonna bring me to a new city, LA, as big as this is, and then be out to two or three a.m. And you had to do this like every day, three yeah. or four times a week. Not Cat. performing, not even getting, not, forget not getting paid. You're not even going on stage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I was, talked to I was I new to comedy and I used to hang out with BT all the time. We've gone Denny's and everything. I'd be like, yo, why am I here? And yeah. this is not helping my comedy. Like you meeting people, you get I was like, they don't even fuck with me. Like, why wait, why does that like BT? You tell everybody go to Denny's, you just trying to get a date. Why you just tell everybody go to Denny's? First of all, it was a lot of us. I'm not the only person that Denny's, but <laughs> I well, I would have chose IHOP to be honest with you, but <laughs> but uh, I remember seeing Kev like the day probably after that conversation, and as you can see the wheels cranking. He was like, "Bro, I'm not gonna be able to do it like this." I'm <laughs> seriously. <laughs> He's like, "I got two kids and a wife that ain't really agreeing with. We got to figure out something else." Because <laughs> the thing is, I had just did that in Washington. There was no Denny's, but you had I had to perform <laughs> three or four times a, a week. I mean, yeah. this was like, nigga, what does going to Denny's have to do? I was like, hey, man, they told me that's the rule. I got to go to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to Denny's. You want me to do something? That's so the rule. Doing the whole church thing, that was really because that was the only one. She wasn't tripping as long as I was getting paid. And the, the right. churches, they was paying. They, you know, mm. 500, 700, you know, maybe 1,000 or 120 bucks. I remember when I was, I remember the moment I was like, Kev, you got you to gotta ask for more. When I was flying to Augusta, uh, <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> And I was mm. going for $125. Mm. And it was taking me like nine hours to get there, 10, you know, 10 hours back. Cause this is before I could fly straight. You gotta go, yeah. go here, Vegas, Nashville, Atlanta, then Augusta. And I was like, bro, this, this doesn't take me 15 hours to get here. Uh, $125. <laughs> By the time I pay for parking at the airport, front and back, <laughs> eating, I've made like $32. How, how much money. time was you doing? 15. You, you was doing all that for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. And luckily, by the grace of God, I had shirts. If it weren't for selling merch, I would have never made no money. <laughs> that merch be a true game changer every time. Uh, some cities that don't do, do good merch, I'd be like, mm, I ain't really got to go there. Bruh, BT, mm. let me tell you what. You can tell a lot of these comedy clubs were not built with selling merch in mind. Mm -hmm. yep. They just like pack these people in, close the door, get the stage, and <laughs> call it a day. I'd be like, bro, no, we need space. And we the, the clubs where the audience has to walk by the merch table to go outside, them is the clubs I want to do. Absolutely. Some of them are set up great. There's certain there's certain clubs that are like, oh, y'all thought this out. Right. Yeah. Like Nate's Club. Woo! Nate's Club is built with comics in mind. It's one of my favorite clubs. You could tell he built it. Uh, you could tell a comic Billy because you can see the stage, you can hear the green room's legit. There's mm -hmm. a space for pictures, and the merch go right there, and you got to walk by that to get outside. That right. is all you. And the stage is great, the sound is great. He got a little dugout, like it's it's one of my favorite. And I only been there one time, but it's it's one of my favorite clubs. He took all the good stuff from all the clubs around the country and put it in one spot. Literally, Lulu. yeah. Lulu, have you been? No. Maybe and there's a hotel connected if you wanted to stay there. It's like, bro, it's the oh, for real? Yes. Shower yeah, in the know. bathroom. He got a podcast room connected Shut to the green up. room. Yeah, so Y'all got to pull up. A lot of people said oh, that it's son. one of the best black clubs in the nation. Rodney Perry just said that when he was on live with uh, Godfrey and uh, Ali Sadiq. The, I'm willing to say in history. <laughs> I, I would say that too. Because uh, I, if I'm mentally just going through my mental Rolodex of like clubs that are as nice as super, uh, I'm a struggle, bro. I, I love joking, jokes and notes, but it didn't look like that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> bro, some of the green rooms are, 
Yeah. Some of the green rooms at comedy clubs, you could tell they were like, God dang it, we didn't build no green room. All right, uh, so let's use this broom closet. Yeah. Bro, mm -hmm. We literally <laughs> been in, one of them had a septum tank in it. We was just like, no. Man, what uh, tank? In here. You're lying. A, a what? A septum. what tank to you? You're lying, T. No, what kind of tank is it? A what? He said <laughs> septum. He, he meant He septum. said spectrum? <laughs> he said a spectrum tank? <laughs> hey, spectrum's pretty good. <laughs> is it a 5G tank? Or is it a 5G? <laughs> Go ahead to here. Get on off here. Talk here the commercial supposed to, to, to drop me. today. Just say it was on your mind, bro. Commercial coming out. It was on your mind. We I know. Just say you have a you have a deviated septum. That's why you snore. That's just what you like Go ahead and jump into the first topic. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank our special guests for joining us today, Mr. B.T. Kingsley, Ms. Lulu Gonzalez, and Mr. Kev on stage because he is no longer here on a regular basis. Stop doing that. Let me just say this real quick. And Kev is episode. trying to separate himself from us. He's been saying it in a separate group chat. It's, it's just... <laughs> How you know he said it in a separate group chat though? To hear, don't you know these people will believe this? It'll be on all the stuff. Don't even go down that road. You trying to rebrand yourself? Let me tell you the what the stage? truth is. The main thing is I be on tour. I also no, I but the the next part is the app. I be having to shoot stuff or meet for stuff or be in shoots for the app that to hear doesn't have to do. So mm -hmm. we get back. The last three or four weeks, we've only had basically Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, I shoot all day podcasts mm -hmm. for my own stuff. So I only really have Monday. So basically, all my meetings are shoved into one day. So I'm shooting for the app or in meetings or development meetings for the app. So here doesn't have to be at those. That's why he can make it and I can't. Got it. All, I heard, all I heard out your mouth was, I am too important for y'all peasants. Flex, flex, flex. <laughs> Flex, 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 flex. Got it. My I'll Lord. tell you what, though. I be in the comments yes, my Lord. hoping the people be miss, missing me. And them comments was dwindling the last couple of weeks. It was like, man, all these people are great. Who's Kev anyway? And I'll be like, I'll be back <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> I show be in them comments. They like, I'll this show flowed guys. so well. <laughs> but you know what, though? The, the, honestly, the good thing is they're so... The one thing that I don't be tripping about, there's so many other talented people. When I'm not here, there's somebody else funny that gets an opportunity. Yeah. So and we got Dion Lack on last week, and I was glad because I had been wanting to get Dion on it. Dion is funny, bro. Dion, Dion is, is funny. funny. And he has Dion, a lot of equipment. Asshole and hilarious. Yeah. Well, listen, we're gonna jump right into the first topic right after this. This past year has caused a lot of stress. All right. And you know what stress causes? Hair loss. In fact, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time that they're 35. 35! Two out of three of us? Listen, fellas, you better get on this because the best way to keep your hair is prevention. And the best way to start prevention is with Keeps. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. It's convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. Makes it so you don't even have to leave your home. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? This is low cost treatment starting at just ten dollars a month and keeps offers generic versions all right you get discreet packaging and proven results keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors okay but again prevention is key treatments can take up to four to six months to see results so act fast don't wait till you're sitting in the barber seat and he looking at you and you looking at him and he looking at you and he says all right so what are we gonna try to do today okay don't let it get to that point this is something that people go through all right, let's normalize keeping your hair. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from some form of male pattern baldness. Do you understand what I'm saying? 50 million people. That's, that's a lot of people. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. What are you waiting on? Hmm? What are you waiting on? Absolutely nothing. Let me tell you something. I started to see this go back a little bit. You think I didn't hop on that Keeps? Immediately, you think I didn't? And now, now you see, you see the headline still strong. You see your boy out here still working hard with it, right? Okay, because I didn't want to be in that situation with the barber. All right, I'm not gonna let let him look at me and I look at him and then him look at me and ask me a question that I'm not ready to answer. And you don't have to do that either. So if you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, go to k e e p s dot com keeps dot com slash squad s q u a d d to get and receive your first month of treatment. For free. That's right. Absolutely free. That's keeps.com slash squad to get your first month free. 
K-E-E-P-S dot com slash squat. First topic of the day, we have, would you rather fulfill your biggest wish or resolve your biggest regret? Mm, that's a good mm. one. Now watch Kev be like, you know, I'm a child of God, so I don't have any regrets because I no, feel I have plenty of regrets. always put on my heart what he wanted me to do. Shut up, nigga. I, I that was going to be my first answer. Of all, I didn't even say that. You told me to <laughs> shut up for something you said. <laughs> and that was my answer to him. <laughs> what up, Lulu? Well, shut up, Lulu. <laughs> I have Same actually now. plenty of regrets. What I was going to say, I am a child of God, so let's make that clear. Wow. Uh, a lot of the regrets is how I learn. And they by having the regrets, I learn so that I can make my biggest wish. Mm. Right. Mm. But like the first, I, I, I said this before, when I first moved to LA, I signed the one of the worst contracts ever. Literally, all you guys know this in this business, you never, ever, ever sign the first contract. Never. The first like version. Mm-hmm. You always negotiate. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. They said $50,000. I was like, and now it's splitting this. And that was production budget included, <laughs> not just pay, just $50,000, create 15 videos and split that amongst three people. It was oh, like, no. sign. No. Then we found out you we shouldn't have done. There's so many things that we shouldn't have done in that contract. Uh, so it was a regret to sign that contract. Mm. Uh, but then I learned from that, hey, you never signed the first contract. There's stuff you can fight for, this and this and that. Um, so that allowed me to make better deals along the way. So that's the regret working into the wish. Gotcha. But I, I do regret you, signing that reg- deal, knowing that. I- I could have did it. I could have got a better, or we could have got a better deal. That was, I, thought you was gonna, like, I, I really thought you was going to say you regretted wearing them jean khakis that you had on at work. Hey, hey. You know what, Meg? You being funny, <laughs> there was no lesson after that. It was just, <laughs> no, just the lesson I learned from Matt was wear black pants and a black shirt and get your shoes off, go. <laughs> don't, don't. I feel like everybody, uh-huh. everybody's regret is going to be so fulfilling and mine was like man i regret busing when i was 13 and getting that chick pregnant but you didn't get her pregnant though i didn't thought know that then make sure you like, say you thought you got her pregnant say that but i thought i got her pregnant I was See, one, the I thing was... that really trips me out about that we were living so different lives when we were both 13. <laughs> I, you, was I, not... I was literally probably watching cartoons while you were having sex and changing the trajectory of your life Man. And I probably had just finished a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And- <laughs> no, he had finished a peanut butter and jelly sandwich too. But like, I'm thinking. <laughs> it was I, after sex. I <laughs> think the 13 was actually pretty good. That sound having kids at that age sound like a great idea. I was in ballet class, okay? Listen, if I, if, if I get a girl pregnant at 13, right? I can't take care of this baby. My mama really got to watch the baby for like the first five to six years, right? By the time I'm 20, the baby in school, and no. then we get no. to grow up together. You know what I mean? What? I be in college. No. Yeah, because when they in school, you ain't really got to watch them no more. No, that's no, that's not how that goes. What? Yeah. This, ain't See, this is perfect. Both of y'all bad bodies come and sit down. <laughs> we doing the show. Sorry, somebody was at the door. Sorry, somebody was at the door. But BT said he had the baby at 13. You gave your mom that oh, you can't shit, really watch it till you're 21. Yeah. yeah, so the baby be set. You know, Kim, no, when the baby's seven, you don't that's watch the kids terrible. no more. They go to school and then they come home, eat and play and do homework. I don't think that's, that's how parenting works. I'm not, not I don't got no kids, but I don't think that's how that works. And, and, and all the kids is like, like five or six years require the most attention out of you. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you I might call my grandma, school. mama. You might That's have to go up to the school the, the first couple years, and then when they get to middle school, they might That's be- easy. I, my school right across the street, though, so it's easy. <laughs> I just walk over, <laughs> take care still, of my, still take care my kids. <laughs> LBT. No. No. He no, believes this, right. too. He believes this. He does. Go That's why me. the Lord made sure you did. You wasn't a teenage parent. Drink your stale ass water, man. <laughs> Y'all talking shit, but at 35, I got my whole life back now. My back's still good. <laughs> your back was never good. Like, it ain't, it ain't gonna come it back now that the kids is older. So. My back ain't never been good. Biggest regret. <laughs> I should have did most shit for my back. Yeah, all my regrets <laughs> is petty, so. 
it's like there's these two dudes who died and i was like i should have smashed them before they died i knew it i knew mm, it. they come off your books because if they die, they come off your books. You would your yeah. numbers still be low. Exactly. So that yeah. was like it was like I wished I would have just took that what? opportunity. They come off your books. Yeah, you, you, you scratch them off the list. They no longer exist what no you, more. Who made that rule? <laughs> Everybody know if they die, That's they the die. They come off. Somebody invalidate it. If if you smash somebody that died, you you, you can't validate it anymore. They, they can't ask the other person. But what? you that know that you let it didn't happen. You. No. I remember. <laughs> they come off the list, man. They ghost now. Who they made ghost up the now? Who? I'm afraid of no ghosts. If you ain't a living body, you don't count as a body. <laughs> exactly. I don't smash spirits. Like, come on, man. I don't smash spirits. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, regrets is all funny. stupid, too. I'm mad I get a <laughs> letter jacket in high school. Like, who died? Oh, uh, BT, that's one of my regrets, too. Yeah, man, I wanted my high school letterman jacket, man. I wanted one, too. My dad my dad would not buy it for me because it was $150. He just said, put the letter on another jacket. And I was like, sir, they don't, they don't, go, they don't go on other jackets. You have to, those are made for the, this, this is a certain, just- You had it on a jean jacket? I'm talking about the high school. And also starter jackets. I wanted the ones that everybody had, which was the Bulls. Ooh. The Hornets, mm. you know what I'm saying? And my dad got Raiders. me one from, from Boston College. And I was like, what? I don't, nobody knows Boston <laughs> College. How did you even get this? Bro, and we didn't I had a Charger, at the time. Chargers jacket. And luckily, I had got it right before they had won the Super Bowl. And then they won the Super Bowl. I was like, whoo, now I'm cool. Because yeah. before, it was like, the Chargers, nigga. <laughs> Who's repping them? When did the Chargers win the Super Bowl? I think I was in 72. I think I was in seventh or eighth grade. So that had to be like 1964. Shut up, man. You sure it wasn't the Puppy Bowl? I don't think the Chargers ever won the Super Bowl. Oh, maybe they went to the Super Bowl then. Yeah, they went to the Super Bowl in 95. Okay, so it must have been there. Is this the uh is this the big pouch with the double hands in the middle? Yes, yeah. but the hoodie oh, point, with the, and it has had the zip right here. Yeah, what that zip was pointless. It was. It, it wasn't it even was a, uh, a uh, a starter jacket. It was a uh, I think Apex. I think Apex made made jacket. Oh, that shit don't count. That shit was white, bro. Oh, um, was bougie. Yeah, the time I got the ones from Korea. I don't Apex. know if it was real or not. My uncle was stationed in Korea and sent them. And I was like, yes. I'm okay. How were we talking about starter jackets? You went to an Apex, and then you told us a whole story. Hey man, listen. <laughs> it was still had the football team on it. <laughs> I was telling yeah, you, man, I love Jays. Yeah, man, you know Air Force Ones is cool. <laughs> Listen, I kept I kept my white sleeve in my pocket so nobody could look for the S. So uh -huh. uh -huh. it to be cool. That's genius. Listen, BT to put that water up to his mouth at least six times and look where it is. That shit is not moving. What are you, are you doing, doing y'all? <laughs> That way, no Are water. you drinking any of it? Are you just putting your, lap, your lips to it and just going? His lips yes. are dry. Yes, he's like moistening his lips. <laughs> BT he's drinking like man. goldfish. Moistening, that's what that's <laughs> called. A hamster. That ain't even a real word. <laughs> moistening? Yes, that's what that look like. It's not even a full moisturize Megan. of the lips. Megan, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be smart. Megan. <laughs> Kevin. You yell no, like a dad look, too. Megan. Man, what's your biggest regret or what's your biggest wish? I don't know. This is a good one. When you said that, I was like, I was thinking about it. You know what? I regret I regret not learning Korean like fully because I feel like I would like to curse somebody out in Korean and I can't. Mm. So like my mom made me go to Korean school on Saturdays and like I only went because they gave you free donuts and orange juice. But like of I learned. You did. <laughs> I did. That's the only reason I went. I'm a dumb a sugar twist donuts. I was like, yes, free donut. <laughs> and I learned how to read and write Korean, but I never learned how to speak it like conversationally. So mm -hmm. my mom would speak it to me. I she never required me to speak back. And I was like, well, okay, yeah, I'm not going to. And now I have like a useless skill because I could like read and write Korean, but you could be saying curse words and I wouldn't know what I was saying. Well, you better get you some Rosetta. Girl, I could. They don't have the cuss words. 
they don't have the cuss words in there. That's a problem. If you can't learn the language, you can study all the shit, but they don't have the good shit in there. <laughs> they don't got slang, Rosetta? <clears throat> nope. nope. That's, That's my cold. biggest regret. Not you burnt my able. rice, bitch. That shit ain't in there. No, you burnt my rice is in there, but not the bitch. Yeah. I just asked my cousin. She was bad growing up, so she knows all the words. Hilarious. What about you, Lou? Oh, you told us yours. BT, what's yours? My biggest regret? Biggest regret or biggest wish? That it was, it was, it was. I, I think I was dead ass about the kids, actually. I thought that would have been. <laughs> but I would go for the biggest wish because I really don't have any. Regrets. Oh yeah, I would absolutely go like biggest I said, wish. My yeah. regrets is petty, so yeah, yeah. What's your biggest wish then? I have money, just a little bit more money. Mm. <laughs> a little bit more success, a little bit more money. You know, but if you telling me I could just snap my fingers and it's like, oh shit, nigga, I am, I'm Bishop from the X Men in the new uh, Avengers movies. You would go there. Six, <laughs> I, don't know, I, got, yeah. I got a Boom. lot of wishes that I'd put into one. Can I just, like, my wish be like oh, all the things I want? <laughs> if I'm famous, commas. all my wishes have worked out. What'd you say, Tiz? <laughs> You'll be using a lot of commas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, like, yes, yes. I would commas. like to be a billionaire, comma, comma, and also be an established, well-accredited actor, and... Comma. <laughs> wife, comma, mother, <laughs> comma, entrepreneur, comma, uh, director, comma. You already doing already a lot of this comma. shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but like when it's all manifested into one, shh, game over. <laughs> yeah. Shh. Man, yeah, your wife too. That would be in her comma too. She would have one. <laughs> How you know I'm not married to here? Shut up, oh, man. We're we not doing go. this every episode. Shut so up, man. I didn't married. even I say it, guys. Married. I mean, I do have this house now, and it's in both our names. How you know I'm not married? Ooh, it's a Meg Ray. A <laughs> <laughs> little sneaky, sneaky. That's how I would do it. I would definitely be sneaky. <laughs> I would send y'all private invites. And y'all all gonna be busy, so y'all can't come anyway. So it'll be like, <laughs> I'm gonna come. It'll be like 20 people there. Nobody really know. And then 20 people is a great wedding. And I would just post it on Instagram. And oh, you're doing like, a sneaky link wedding. Hell yeah, I'm doing a sneaky link wedding. I don't want nobody there for <laughs> real. That's how you're supposed to do it. How you don't want nobody there, Lou? I don't, wanna, is it, I don't want a lot of people. I, I just, I want like, how many people is a lot of people? I think because you gotta, well, okay, I, I would say past. 50? Nigga, I, 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 I guarantee you there's no way you do 50 people at your wedding. I had 38 mm -hmm. people at my wedding. 38? What? 38 people. That's a good number. That's a, It feels more intimate and real. When you start yeah, adding, yeah. when you start getting into the 50s and yeah, up. you don't then, know. You shut up. Yes, I do. How yeah. I many people was at your wedding, Kev? Yes, I do, Kevin. I had like 200 plus people at my wedding. Gotta be. But the thing about it, to, me, to Meg's point, uh, uh, like three or four years ago, me and Melissa looked back at the pictures and we didn't remember, but maybe 15 people. And most of those people were just people that were related to us um, or friends from high school. The rest of them, we was just, people just don't want to be left out. So they make a big deal about coming to your wedding. You'd be like, bro, I'm not really, I don't really know you like that though. And you got to pay to feed them. That's what and I'm you got to pay to feed them. You gotta pay I want to spend all the money on my dress, the cake, the photographer, and then y'all niggas could show up if you want, but... It ain't for y'all. You don't Angel, need no other uh, body. Angel That's and why you got to do a destination a, uh, wedding because you invite people and they don't feel left out, but they uh, not coming. Yep. That's yep. Like, I'm a and a destination, destination can really be anywhere. Everybody always thinks tropical, but you do that shit in Bakersfield and niggas ain't going to come. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody driving. Right, I'm not coming to Bakersfield. Nigga, you was like, what? <laughs> you would have said Valencia. I might have pulled up. I, I went to Baker's you Baker's on God's green earth. Megan, you get married in Bakersfield, I'll be sending you a poster. There's no way. Bakersfield, I'm sorry. I'm sure there are some kind people there. I hate that city. Let me tell I you, hate I got, city. I got pulled over in Bakersfield and got a ticket because I didn't have meth on me. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, where's your meth? I was like, I don't have any meth. All right. Never had a good experience there. Never had a good show there. Just all... Hotels are terrible. Yes. They will be cheap though, Kev. The venue be super cheap. You probably have a big, 
You'd have to, you could rid out City Hall out there for like $14 <laughs> and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> $14? <laughs> your, pictures be, your pictures would be amazing. You'd be like, look at that. Uh-huh. You get this. Yeah, nah, I'm pulling a little sneaky, little sneaky sneak. That's funny. How far is Bakersfield from LA? I've never, I hour, hour, about an hour 25. That's it? Hour 25. <laughs> I've oh, always it. seen the signs. I'm like, I'm not going that way. Nah, Bakersfield. You got to go through the grapevine, though. That's the problem. You do. Mm-hmm. I don't like it over there. Mm-hmm. I hate Bakersfield. Tahir said he had a show over there, and I'm pretty sure that's where he got the vid. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna blame the whole city of Bakersfield? Uh, he tried to blame it on Atlanta, and I was like, it was the vid. On a it was Thursday Bakersfield. night, did a show on Friday in Atlanta in the daytime. I put that on my city. Flew back to um, L.A. Saturday morning, did the show in Bakersfield, and then Sunday I flew to Utah. And did a show on, on Easter Sunday. Oh, you definitely got it in Utah. Definitely, yes. No, nah, man, it I was bigger for guys. I think it was Atlanta. No, it was not no, Atlanta. Don't try to put everything on us. I don't think it was Atlanta. I think it was Bakersfield. <laughs> I don't think it was Atlanta. Because I like you got to go through the incubation day. The, so I pretty the sure. The what? Incubation. <laughs> the what? Incubation. Hey Tom, he said You don't need no other syllables. <laughs> <laughs> What is that incubation? Incubation. incubation. Incub- it is incubation. That ain't what you said, though. Incubation. That's what I said, man. It's incubation. Incubation. <laughs> Spelling is hard coming soon. You, you saw the you saw the promo. You saw the promo. Why am I not on there? I want to spell. I, I want to freaking spell and be. I haven't even shot an episode. I ain't even been invited. First of all, first of all, all we did was shoot the pilot. It, it, we mm-hmm. haven't even shot anything else. So oh, I bet you. Because he don't want to lose again. That's why man, y'all ain't got no problem with losing. We yeah, lost to everybody up here. I could Pat spell. This. Pat that. Love I've seen Pat. the spelling G, the spelling bees. They be like. Oh. <laughs> the, it's L E. You're like, oh my God, I got that. I got that. That's all Lulu going to do. She going to even try to spell it for real. She's just no. going to do that. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, but Tia lost to everybody up here. You know what I mean? So. Hey, have he, you he, ever he won? Lost by both way, episodes. You lost on your first episode and your, your uh, rematch. So cut it out. Who? BT. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, BT, you lost against here. I ain't got to worry about it. Biggest regrets is like a crazy thing. Um, (laughs) You know what I mean? Regret losing to tear? I didn't lose. I got cheated. Everybody knows. I got cheated too. I got cheated too. It's a thing. I lost on technicalities. It wasn't because of skill. It was just technicalities. Yeah, all right, Lulu. You technically couldn't pick the right word. That's that's what happened. (laughs) You gave me all the trick questions, and you gave me all the questions I don't that the questions, SAT look. questions. I don't you got all the questions. easy shit. Like, nah, don't play me like that. Don't do me like that. <laughs> that nigga tried to cheat you. Kev, you over there doing your taxes? What's, what's going Man, on? Man, he like ordering off a of DoorDash, and they were like, would you like to add a <laughs> He like... He know he should be doing better, but I was that just be finishing like, man, the was last part of that email. I was like, man, I got about seven more seconds before Meg says something. Yes. And then, lo and behold, <laughs> Lulu, I was about, I was looking. Thank Lulu, you. Lulu, after everything we've been through, it was you. It was you. I just had to send one <laughs> quick email off. That I'm wasn't cool. Buying pork belly by the pound. <laughs> eh, I'm here like, eh. Eh. I'm pork, oh, oh, I'm gonna get pepper like, pork belly this how time. How much for oh, these pork belly? Pepper pork belly at a regular one. Pork oh. belly by the pound? You know how much pork belly you buy? <laughs> if you buy it by the pound? Low key, man. Pork belly, <laughs> one of my favorite things to eat. <laughs> Let me tell you what. How do you eat that? Texas. Pork Most belly. Of the time, uh, um, it's an appetizer. They just they just uh sear it up and give it to you. Pork Make belly tacos, crispy. bow. Bow with pork belly in it. Bow is lit. Bow is lit. It's basically like a really thick bacon, you know? That's all it is. Basically. <laughs> I want to see what your intestines look like, man. Oh, it's a mess in there, Lulu. It's a, it's a. It's Don't a look inside bag. my body. <laughs> it looked like the Matrix. You man. ever had a colonic? Me? 
You should do yeah. one of those. You I should. It's a high one. It's it's weird. It's I want to get one too, though. I ain't gonna you lie. Have yeah, one should, that should be an episode. Yeah. I had one in September. Me and my homegirl was like, let's go try it, y'all. Oh, come it on. is. You in- just randomly Same. wanted to try that. I want to try yeah, because we were too. trying to do like a whole body cleanse. We were like, let's just, because you know, too, at the end of your like intestines, there could be worms there. Some people have worms because you never truly like get rid of all the poop. So there's like a little bit left there. So you're supposed to do like a cleanse of some sort once a year to, you know, back in the day, my dad mm-hmm. said they used to do like castor oil or whatever, but you're supposed to do it to like poop every, just poop around the clock basically and get it yep. out. But a colonic is a faster way to do do that out. You got pork belly in there from last season. You probably definitely got some. (laughs) I'm telling you. Get all the worms out except for the tapeworm. I will. I want to go to South America and buy a tapeworm. (laughs) Just get the vid again. You be all right. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I can't be down. The the tapeworm ain't gonna mess you up like that. Tapeworm is gonna go in there, handle business. You know what I'm saying? And you get to take it out in like six months. You go. You gonna go to Brazil and get you a tapeworm? <laughs> tapeworm BBL? That's what mm-hmm. you get in? And that way it won't happen so fast. People are like, oh, you got the surgery. It was like, it happened over six months. It's like, yeah, I really put in the work, man. I really went to the gym. <laughs> Why are you so worried about what people yeah. say? do? what you want to do. You don't. People gonna say what they want anyway. Because I want to wear certain clothes, Kev. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, do it. Get the surgery. Why you got? Why you care what people people say? You don't have to. Yeah, why don't you get a BBL? Get a I BBL. Have to, I have to, I have to gain more weight before I can get yeah. the surgery. They said I'm not big enough. I'm in that weird space. <laughs> Wait, what surgery? Get lipo. No, no you this. trying to get you trying What's to get a gastric? I just want my stomach to be like like this, so I could just nah, get the like, lipo. Just get, get the, the lipo. Get the it's lipo. too late for that. Get the lipo. Funk Flex got it. You could get it. Get you some lipo in your body. Kev, if you get it, I'll get it. I don't want to be the only one. I want somebody to go through it with me. What? Why do you need to do surgeries together? Mm-hmm. Kev's not going to do the enough. recovery Kev, well. Let's, he, let's he, do he it together gonna... and have us in the same operating room. We can hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> and they wheel out the, the, the beds at the same time and y'all still hold the hands? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, That's y'all talk about y'all talk about the the lipo, right? We not talking about colonics still, because that shit weird as hell. I'm gonna be honest with you, I ain't gonna. No, we talking about, talk about the surgeries now. now. Okay, yeah, cool. Right. During colonics too, go ahead. I love to hear you put it to a vote. What we going with? To hear, wait a minute though. If you get the lipo, then your little back tack guns are gonna be like little water guns. They're gonna be little. <laughs> they gonna be deuce deuces. They gonna be little two two. Why you act like he ain't hear me though? <laughs> like, a, like an old man lighter. <laughs> I don't care about that. I don't care. Fingers look like it's snapping instead. In the listen, back. listen. It's a good story. If, if nothing else, it'd be a good story. He gonna have them. Uh, them back tags gonna be on his legs now. <laughs> All right. Looks like the uh, biggest wish got it. So we're gonna jump right into the second topic. You didn't even vote. It doesn't matter. I tried to give y'all a chance to vote. Y'all wanted to crack jokes. I wanted to vote. <laughs> No, Meg with the BBL is gonna pull it up, so the guns gonna be on the shoulders like angel wings. Like, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, I said lower, but they actually gonna be higher. Right after your guns lit down your body. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? If you're looking for a new weekly meal plan service, look no further than Green Chef. Green Chef lets you choose between a wide variety of easy to make meals. And they have a different recipe for whatever you're looking for. If you're on the keto diet, if you're on the paleo diet, something plant power based, they have it all for you. You can make leading a healthier lifestyle a lot easier with satisfying home cooked dinners that is easy to work around your lifestyle, not the other way around. Everything is handpicked, featuring organic veggies, high quality protein, delivered to your door, pre measured, and mostly prepped and insulated packaging. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. So you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. I've been on a plant-based diet recently. I needed something to fit that and Green Chef was perfect. My favorite meal has been the Moroccan style spice chickpea bisque. Mm-hmm. Oh. Perfect, perfectly seasoned, perfectly spiced. I like a little bit spicy. And best of all, it was quick and so easy to make. Man, I'll be honest with you. I'm not the greatest cook, all right? I'm not the best in the kitchen. But with Green Chef, I feel like a real chef out there. I'll be out there 
throwing the spices on feeling good. And in case you didn't know, Green Chef is owned by HelloFresh, so you know they have a lot of options for you to choose from. Me personally, I love jumping back and forth between Green Chef and HelloFresh meal plans. And now my listeners are going to enjoy both brands with a discount from me. So for all my listeners out there, make sure you go to greenchef.com slash squad 100 and use the code squad 100 to get $100 off, including free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash squad 100. That's $100 off, including free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. There are so many activities that you can do that are just better at home, like sleeping in your own bed or dancing like nobody's watching or pausing movies whenever you want. Some things are just better at home, sweet home. And Peloton delivers a workout experience that you'll never imagine was possible, right? from your home. Look, there are a lot of things I wish I could do from the comfort of my own home, like hiking on the trail or watching live music. We can't do everything from home, but with Peloton, you'll have a workout experience like no other without ever having to leave your home. They have different music theme classes to choose from and they have artist collaboration. Oh, nothing like it. Me, I'm all in with the bike boot camp classes and there's nothing like the community on there man they keep you pumped up and they keep you motivated the social engagement on there is like none other from keeping up with close friends to world-class workouts with people from around the globe you'll never feel alone when you're working out you can hand out high fives on the leaderboard you can even join groups like the working moms of peloton whatever your overall fitness goals are you can mix and match different workouts you can do total body to cardio to even yoga when you purchase a peloton bike you get access to live classes and thousands on demand plus access to the app to get you moving anytime anywhere with boot camps between nap time or rise before brunch you can seamlessly fit peloton in to your life with the peloton bike there's nothing like working out from home learn more at onepeloton.com New members can try Peloton for free for 30 days at onepeloton.com slash app terms apply. That's O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N dot com. Second topic of the day, we have Subway versus Jersey Mike's. Mm. This is way too mm-hmm. easy. This is not even a. This is not even a question. There's no competition. You said Jer- Wait, if you said Firehouse Subs versus, you, you could say pretty much any sandwich place versus Subway. They don't yeah. even have real tuna. I don't I don't never tuna. ordered I don't the tuna. I didn't know that people was getting the tuna like that from Subway. Anyway. I was getting the tuna. Were you yes. really? Yes. yes. All the time. All no the time. time. Like at least twice a week. Yes, everybody's everybody's yes. comes in Ziploc bags. Why y'all sitting up here tripping? Lunch meat comes in a Ziploc bag. It just don't have the resellable thing. Why y'all tripping off that tuna? Mm. That tuna was a real tuna. Was oh, it tuna? It, it was, was like yoga mats and like good? sponges. It was vegan. It was good. Yoga mats. Y'all use vibrators <laughs> that ain't a real penis, and y'all tripping off of a little tuna. Hey. But we ain't trying to marry the vibrating penis. It's temporary, like them sandwiches, okay? It's a real thing. <laughs> Y'all should be lucky it ain't real that thick in that tuna. It breaks down faster. No. Mm-hmm. It's just, vegan. It might have been good for you. It might have been all, you know, sea monsters. It was food. not vegan. It was not vegan at listen, all. Listen, listen, man. Y'all acting it wasn't me. Y'all so quick to turn y'all back on Subway <laughs> like it didn't help y'all. Get through college with them $5. How do you kids? have allegiance to places that you use to survive? You, we're supposed to do that because we have to. you still eating like that. You but, don't but, it, but, it, but it helped you out. Don't turn it I, I recognize that. that but I don't. I you used to be loyal bastard. at Wendy's. I don't, I don't yeah. do that now on purpose. I mean, my training mm. bra helped me out too. I ain't <laughs> praising that shit now. Like, <laughs> I need a real bra. No training bra didn't help you out, Lulu. Shut yes, up. It did. That was what it was for, was to guide the girls. Like, you ain't never been here before. This is where we supposed to sit, you know? That's what they for. That, but that, T, that ain't even the reason. The problem is, that we know that Jersey Mike's be focused on warm sandwiches. 
And warm yeah. sandwiches is just better than cold sandwiches. But you can get your sandwich heated up at Subway now. But they ain't focused. They be niggas forgetting. thinking about it on the back end. They be burning oh, the bread. Like, nah. There's, man, it it like actually really like cooking, there's a difference between cooking your sandwich and heating up a sandwich that was warm. I mean, that was yeah. room temperature. Yeah. Jersey Mike's is throwing your steak on the grill and cooking it and then giving it to you. Your answer, <laughs> you're, you're not even going to choose Subway to hear. It's damn near Chipotle. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, when I was in college, it was Subway because the $5 foot long, it was necessary for my survival. Boom. Boom. Right? That's all I'm saying. But, yeah, but that was like 15 years ago. And the cookies. They do got them. Hey, cookies. they're oatmeal raisins to know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. hey, the cookies it. at Subway, if I'm not just focused on the sandwiches, mm -hmm. the cookies. Mm hmm that that the put up that that's what has going for it more than anything else is the amount of locations they have. Yep. Yeah, this and the hours. <clears throat> they you do 24 they have, hours. Did y'all know they have a vegan patty at Subway? That yeah, helped me I when I was going through my vegan long. stage. Yeah, yeah, it don't look but, like nothing. It looks it like looks the hamburger like patties from when we were in middle school. It looked it looked like what they was eating in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a patty fall on <laughs> And the oh, number Knesset? Oh, yeah. The number it's Knesset? Or Jello from Snowpiercer, that movie. Ugh. Oh, and I will man. Say this. Snowpiercer was a good movie, it was Meg. It so good. It was, y'all seen Snowpiercer? Nah. I yeah, only seen the show. Netflix. I didn't even know other movies. Nah, it's, the director, I think his name is Bong Ho Kim. He directed Parasite. And oh. when I saw Parasite, mm. I was like, this is great. And people were like, yo, if you like Parasite, you need to watch Snowpiercer. Dog, I'm watch it that is. tonight. It is. Y'all watch the is. show? What is it? Is I, it I did. The show came because of the movie. The show came out because of yeah. the movie. Yeah, what'd you say to here? Is it on Amazon or what? I think, it's I, on, I think it was on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry, I don't want to pass up the fact that Meg quit being a vegan. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was pesca vegan, actually, for like a year and a half. What's it's that? And then, and then yeah. what? Oh, and then, I, so what happened was, I was it was like my 30th birthday, and me and my friends were going to Cabo for my birthday, and I was like, hmm, do I want to have the runs in Cabo, or do I want to enjoy myself? So the month leading up to my birthday, or to the trip, I, like, started, you know, slowly eating meat. Coming back I, on around. Yeah. And then I never went back. But I had my day. I had my day. Are you good? I got, uh, I got a new business I'm starting this, uh, CMOS Wings, so you could like, do the best of both worlds and shit. Ooh, wait, C what? Yeah, sea moss lemon pepper wings. It's like, oh, sea yeah. moss is in the mix. We, yeah, Gosh, man, it's gonna, it's gonna batter it up. They, it go together. Okay, you get the, I, I would definitely try it. Sea moss yeah. lemon pepper wings. Just, just be, be fat, fat BT. I just do. be fat, man. Stop. I've never met anyone that lies more than me except for BT. <laughs> BT, you gonna do look? Everything. You do the little BT's stupid ass vitamin drops. Jokes. We know you're not gonna make sea moss lemon pepper wings. Listen, it's Wait, serious. That's a good idea, the, though. Wait, why you not? come to the restaurant, you do the little drops under your tongue, you drink a lot of water, and you read Dr. Sebi and eat lemon pepper sea moss wings. <laughs> that's a good restaurant. I want to go there. <laughs> right, I would go there, y'all. I went to this, y'all. I went to this vegan infused dinner party on Saturday. Let me just tell you. Hmm. What does that mean? I guess like I was certain things are lying, and then okay. like everything You're else lying. is normal. Well, so it was, the, so it's a chef. She specializes in, is in, in infusing THC into her food. So she like had this four course meal. The food was fire. It's all vegan, but it was so yummy. Like even my vegan friends were like, this is good. I mean, my non-vegan friends were like, this vegan food's good. But she put like, like 25 milligrams here, 50 milligrams in like the different dishes. So oh, like the beefless good. egg rolls, like the, all of that had some THC in it. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not a smoker or anything, but I will have like a CBD edible or something like that. So I was like, let me just go. Y'all, I was flying. It was so, I was like, this is great. The music is wonderful. I love this place. I'm gonna get up and dance. Yo, you turned into a white girl when you start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I was in that like, song in your head. Yes, yes. You don't need it's to use our rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> the Korean side came out real quick. Man, <laughs> it did, y'all. It was how we feeling? Subway, Jersey Mike's. What? 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 Firehouse. Fire.
It ain't enough firehouse subs for everybody to vote. Like firehouse service like, is great though, but Jersey it's better Michael. than all of them. But they got like five sandwiches at firehouse subs. No, and they that's don't it. have a lot. But them bitches is fire though. They I are only, good. I only Quiznos. Like I'm picking Quiznos. I hate there Quiznos. Are more Quiznos left in all of the right. other cities. <laughs> They partnered with somebody really else. really fumbled the bag. They were the first one to toast the sub. Right. And then they didn't even, they weren't able to hold on to the lead. Someone was like, bet, we can get toasters. And Christmas was like, they stole my whole flow. Man. Hey, soldier boy. Christmas <laughs> is soldier boy. He stole my whole flow. <laughs> no keto. Christmas, no, they no, have no second business plan. Their whole thing <laughs> was toaster. Yeah, they not. never thought other people would put toasters in. And someone was like, toasters. Christmas was like, Dang, that was <laughs> awesome. Awkward. You walking past the subway? Wow. Uh, subway? 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 Wow. wow. We were the first franchise to have subway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for that tweet to go out from Quiznos. <laughs> Quiznos fumbled the bag, bro. They were like, dang, okay, wow. I it wasn't that. even like flatbreads. It wasn't like always subs. It was like flatbread. I think they had both. They had flatbread too. Yeah. They they yeah, just one sandwich is rule, bro. It, it was showing how they didn't make any money. Like their their bottom line, they were <laughs> never hitting it. Like and they were paying their employees like under minimum wage or like they never got raises or something like that. But like it, they had a horrible business model, and that's why you don't see a lot of them now. Does Subway play well? Pay well? I, I don't know. There's a lot of them. Because yeah. I know, I know like In and Out and Chick fil A pay well. They do. Mm. In and Out give you like health insurance. Yeah. You can't own a uh you can't own a Chick-fil-A franchise unless you work there. You can't same, same, really? uh, same as McDonald's. No, it really is like that to hear. It really is training like program at McDonald's too. You can't yeah. even have a lot. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you are not going to own it and I, and they don't let you buy too many of them. I think the max is like two, maybe three mm. because they feel like you can't possibly keep up with their level of service. If you're not actually physically working in the store. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That, Chick that Chick-fil-A service is something else, bro. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. Well, let's put it to a vote. What are we doing? Jersey Mike's or Subway? Jersey Mike's. Jersey Michaels. Jersey Mike's. Cookies almost kept you in there with them warm sandwiches, bro. Jersey Mike's. All right. And I'm going Jersey Mike's as well. All right. Let's jump Get into the last topic <laughs> right after this. Attention listeners all the way across the galaxy from Australia to Houston. Do we have a pew problem? If so, our friends over at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff. With the fourth generation, brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the Performance Package 4.0. The orbit in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming. Join the two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your rocket ready to take off by going to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code SQUAD. I'm shaving the lower region with other blades, a lot of nicks, a lot of cuts. Ladies don't like that, but with Manscaped, oh, let me tell you something, that performance package, 4.0, no problems down there, no nicks, no cuts, and the ladies love it. So if you're ready for an out of world experience, fellas, look no further than the performance package 4.0 from Manscaped. These have taken off not only from the US, but also Canada, the UK, across Europe, Australia, South Africa, and Singapore. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold your whole solar system. First scheduled for liftoff is the Lawn Mower 4.0. This spaceship is here to guide you on your journey to trim your body, your balls, your butt, and even your anus. This fourth generation trimmer also features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch that can engage the travel lock, and is even waterproof. Lawnmower 4.0 also has a 4000K LED spotlight 
you can turn the switch on and off for a more precise shave throughout your travels across the galaxy. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker. It's like having a little astronaut to chop up the worst weeds up top in your nose and in your ear. The Weed Whacker is also waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered 360 degree rotary dual blade system. This nose and hair trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology, which prevents nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. Don't forget to use the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and their Crop Reviver to help your little planets be on their A game while feeling heat from the sun. Manscaped even doing two free gifts with the Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. So abort hairy balls and buzz light years that Woody Manscaped. So get 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code SQUAD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code SQUAD at manscaped.com. For a clean trinity and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Last topic of the day we have, would you rather never leave the country or leave the country and never come back? We talk about America? That would be the country. The country that we were brought here on slave ships. Meg, that you were country. born mm -hmm. here. Shut up. Meg, I was born nowhere else. I was born in Korea. You not going to survive nowhere else. Look, I'm out. I, I've tried to live in different countries. That shit does not work. You Where'd you live? Shit, Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I don't, think that's I don't count country. that place. I got a vacation. <laughs> relocation. <laughs> What? Top 10. Lulu. <laughs> this girl said Iraq. What about Jamaica? You went to Jamaica. You wouldn't live there? Nah. <laughs> nah. I lived in Panama for like two months, and that shit is horrible. It's a third yeah. world country. I'm not doing that shit, I man. I'm, uh -uh. The only places that I can think of that I've been to that I would like to live, and I don't know if I could do it long term, is London, yep. Toronto, yep. and maybe Spain. Spain was a good time. Yeah. But I would I live in Dubai. You would like to? Yeah, I love it's like uh, when I left I was like, yo, how can I come back over here and live for a while? I love Dubai. I want to go to Dubai so bad. You never I been to Dubai? Mm -hmm. I want to go. Oh, Kev, you never been to Dubai, bro? Man, you know. What the dude I mean? was trying you to get me to show him for the Dubai, but he who was like, flew you a, out? Huh? I've been I've been to Dubai twice. Who flew you, you out? flew out twice by yeah. the shakes over there. Yeah, doing the show for uh, like a, a princess or some some shit. Tehran hooked up, man. That, that shit was lit. I was trying <laughs> to go, but they were like, "It's a twenty-two hour flight. You land, you do a show. You land at four, you do a show at seven, and then you leave the next day. <gasps> yep. Twenty-two hours." And I was like, "That's nah. a lot for nah. <laughs> you got to be like, I'm that's what I did. It was worth it." Nigga, that was 44 hours. No. I think they called me after they called you. It worked out, bro. It was a great show. You <laughs> <laughs> had a blast. I ate good, went to the mall and shit. Uh, it was great. Minimal sleep, good ass day. show. <laughs> I, I, I went for, I went one time for like 36 hours and I went one time for like something close to that. It was like an in and out show, it was great. Cause I had a weird situation when I, yeah, when I went, when I was in the air, um, one of the sores died and they they start drying out. So it's like no celebrations, no parties, no nothing. So everything's supposed to be shut down. So when I land, they canceled the show. I was like, well, ain't this some shit? Yeah, really? Which, but the, it was like secret clubs and shit open. It was great. I had a blast. And then I had you to fly back ready? again to do the show the next time. Yeah. Damn. They, they got money. Dubai is, Dubai money, is yeah. the... Is and they, Sandy and then, Vegas? It is, and then when they the I Vegas of the Middle East, they got great. All the people over there. The closer you are to like the royal family, the more money you just get on an annual basis. Like minimum, like million dollars a year. Like that's nothing. I was like, what? That's like a fourth, fifth cousin. Yeah, that's because like, they got that old money. They got real money. Guitar. That shit was nice. Cotter. You said a guitar. Cotter. You been there? Cotter. You said. Well, when I was in the army, they had messed up my leave. So they was like, my bad, we'll send you to, uh, we'll send you over there for like four days. And I was like, bad. And I was there, I went to the mall. I seen all this fantastic gold and all these women. The mall. Man, the women was fendi out, like versace out, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you know, all you see is mm -hmm. the eyes, but their hands was like lit. 
The bags was lit. I was like, yo, y'all can't. All the dudes look like Drake too, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Drake with turbo. All the dudes. You y'all see that picture Drake posted over, uh, over the weekend? Like that? <laughs> Holding, wearing his boyfriend's hoodie? He was like. Hey. He was like, mm, <laughs> snuggy. Like, no, like when I posted the video, <laughs> what up? Uh, what about followers said Phil Cute might drop an album? <laughs> I was like, why did I think of that? I hate, I hate. That's the one of the worst feelings when you post a video and people in the comments say something funnier than you ever said in the video. Man, <laughs> like, dang it! I pinned it though. I pinned it to the top. I was like, I, I pinned it. <laughs> yeah, he had his leg popped and everything. Like, what yeah, he was tooted. Man, he was, was definitely too. He was feeling himself. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Yeah. He was feeling he himself. He been hanging out with Bobby Schmurder. That's why. And then they've been. Mm, 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 mm. It was like, get it, bitch. That's what I mean. Next time, I felt like next time's just a little bit close to somebody. I mean, like, get it, bitch. Like, <laughs> he there. He almost there. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's a is is. Here's a problem. America look like it's smacking. So like the can't come back is the problem. Cause if cause Canada made sense, uh Kev, I was with you. If like if I'm in Canada, I can figure this out. But it's just some shit going on that I can't go to. That just sounds here's the thing about Canada though. Taxes. Mm. Nigga, they take mm. like that whole free healthcare thing is not really free. It's it's free because okay. the amount of taxes that they take from your income pays for. But like if you make over mm. like I think. I was talking to this guy. He said he was an architect. He's like, if you make over seventy five thousand, they take half of that. Whatever you make over that, they take half of that that's your taxes. Taxes oh, like no, that. I ain't doing it that. can't be fifty percent. Meg, look it up. I, I said I was talking to him. I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Fucking it up. Look it up then. Shit. I don't I'm even a- lie, Quentin. <laughs> Here, why are you? Why were you so upset? Because Meg always. He got- know he lying. I ain't lying about it. I'm telling you what the dude said. I didn't say that. That's what the dude said. I was just saying it verbatim. Mm-mm. I was quoting it. This is too much accessibility. That is a lie. I'm America. looking over here. It says for that, what, 48000 to 97000 a year. This is federal income tax brackets. The income tax is 20.5% in Canada. If you make like one fifty to two fourteen k it's 30%. That's still too much percent. It's still a lot. I mean, it's still a lot, but I'll it's be honest with you. I, I, would have, I would have no problem living in another country. And Canada is actually, I love Canada. I've been there several times. It's great. Canada's good. great. Toronto's great. Vancouver's Toronto's beautiful. great. Victoria's great. I love it. It's great. Victoria's really nice. They got whale watching over there. Yeah, it's could, you do, um, could you do Tokyo? You was in Tokyo for like a week. Could you do that? I don't think I could live there. Too crowded. It's like New York. It's like an Asian. No, it's, it's not too crowded. I mean, uh, I don't. I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> I feel like you, <laughs> if I live somewhere else, I would. I would feel better if it was a. I mean, there's a lot of people who spoke Japanese there, but I feel like. Um, you mean, spoke English. I would. I would prefer an English-speaking, uh, English-forward place if I had to live there. Uh huh. And I feel like I'd have a hard Why time. Why none of us talking about? What? Nobody what? here want to move to Africa? Oh yeah, I was gonna say that was my next one. After Dubai, I would move to South Africa. Only but- way I'm moving to Africa if I can go to Akon City. <laughs> That's the only way I move to Africa. Get your cryptocurrency be, together. This shit gonna be popping. Yeah. I know it's gonna be popping. It's gonna be would mad. You, would club. you be a? It's Lou, like Baby Wakanda. I'm going there. Lou, would you be a fourth wife? For him Negative. I'm too. Uh-uh. I'm too territorial. What if he's like, no, 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 you get your own house. No. Nah. Like, because I, I know he with the other Tuesday. three wives at some point in time of the day. Nah. Lulu was getting mad at the hypothetical. She already has an attitude yes. with him. And she, she like, no, so you get the other three wives. Listen, well, she's parking the gun under the desk. That's how adamant she is. She's like, like, nah. <laughs> Meg was only two questions into the hypothetical. And Lulu's like, see, he's over there with them other three wives. And that's my problem. <laughs> I don't even want you to put that in the universe. Like, don't even want put that out there. Cause, mm, 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 mm. wait, what if you have like a mansion, a Bentley, all this stuff, but you no. and you only get him on Tuesdays and like half a week every day, Meg. 
You can have your time to yourself. You can just stay in the house and play. You do whatever you food. want. I've had a lot of years to myself. That is not what I'm looking for. I've had <laughs> enough of me. Okay, me is I've too had much. enough of me. <laughs> I need a man me to take some much. of his energy so I could, you know, even out. Like, <laughs> you gotta be here every day. <laughs> no, I'm tired of me. Like this is uh, exhausting. <laughs> I would absolutely live in South Africa, though. I love South Africa. I've never been there, but it's like on my bucket yeah. list. I look at it all the time. I look at places in South Africa, so I'm like, mm. that's the reason why. Not this, you know, Africa currently it's a lot going on, yeah. but I'm saying outside of it. But isn't South Africa the part that's like segregated? Like they have like all the the wars and stuff. It used like, to be apartheid, like America, well, and they have stuff going on right now. But it's it's like very. <laughs> Westernized, I guess, is a good way to say. You might as well stay home for that. I, I'm not. I, I can't vouch for any country that I haven't been to yet. So I, I can't yeah, either any, anywhere in Africa because I haven't been, I haven't been there yet. So I, I have to wait on that one. Mm -mm. I'm with you, G. That's uh, one of the places I want to visit. I want to go to Kenya, Nigeria. Kev, Saint why you ain't never had no uh, show? No, uh, none of your tour has been in Africa. You don't like black I people. I want to go, but it's expensive to get to get a whole tour over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not certain I'll make my money check? back or even right. break even. Did you check? No, I, I mean, I just checked the plane tickets and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I was looking into doing a show in Nigeria or doing a show in Kenya. Cause my, on my Facebook, I actually have a lot of uh, fans in Nigeria and Kenya. Me too. Um, but just getting over there was, it was, it was expensive, man. I was yeah. Like, man. yeah. Actually, one of my fans actually one of his wives. He in Nigeria, man. One of his I, wives. Yeah, I was like, oh, sir, no, one of those wives too, Lulu. But you blocking your blessing. Yep, you blocking your blessing. You mess yeah. around and be. You mm -hmm. mess around, move up the ranks fast because you got weapons training. I don't think. I see. I don't think it's like that. I think it's like whatever time you come in, that's where your that slot. Is true. That's I don't how the sister wives can, go. You that's can't her. move up and but then you can be last to hire, first to fire. But you can <laughs> basically. Yeah, like I'll you can be, be the new to go. You can be the new toy, Lulu. Mm -hmm. You the new toy though. Everybody want to play with the new toy. And then I gotta now I gotta overwork to overcompensate for the fact that I'm the last wife. And then I gotta do extra. Nah, nah, nah. You nah, can nah. you can intimidate Lulu. You got weapons training. You could intimidate the other chicks too. Right. Hey, I got weapons, weapons training. training too. What you talking about? <laughs> he keeps saying you got weapons training. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Why you know, she she does, like she's a mercenary. She's a she was in the military. She's not a mercenary. That okay? ain't a thing you say, man. Hey, man, do you want to date me? You know, I got that weapons training. Like, that ain't something. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the last thing I tell dudes. The last thing I tell them when I was in the army. Listen. Why? Because they be scared. And for Girl, good reason. They ain't a real one. They ain't a real one. You don't want them anyway. For good reason. Because mm -hmm, she know how to hide a body. <laughs> No, I got that. Put, put that on your vote, Tinder, man. Lulu. Lulu. It's weapons training. Hey, let's put it to That's a it. Vote. I'm going to nothing else in your bio. Just I'm put your name and weapons and just training. Weapons training. Oh, watch, yeah. girl. You about to get right. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Everybody don't want you. I'm going to do that on my BL, uh, my black account. I'm going to just put <laughs> weapons would training. Would you rather never leave the country or leave the country and never come back? What y'all going with? I will huh. leave and never come back. I would leave and never come back. Here's oh, one. now you got time to oh. be a oh. Now your little meeting oh. is over and you got time for us. You are a real piece of work, Patrick. Stuff. Like I have to do taxes and QuickBooks and stuff like that now. And it, I really did. Your braider came by and was like, I'm gonna do your hair from this time to this time and that's mm. it. And you were like, okay. I no, Meg, it was, I'm gonna do your hair from this time to this time. <laughs> and that's it. Get between my legs. <laughs> right here, Pat. This what you get for just in. All you did was peek in and you got Pat. this. <laughs> ha ha, Pat. That's what you get. Go get your hair braided. Hey, that, that shirt kind of fitted. What you trying to do? Yeah, even in the gym. Pat, in the gym. Pat, yeah. yeah. Pat say he been working out this summer. It's okay, Pat. We see you getting a little thick. That's like low key strong. Oh. I got a couple towards the end of that. Oh, yeah, man. big big flex, man. Yeah, you out here. Man. I can do. I saw you, Pat. You was doing uh, pull ups and stuff. I was like, okay. I'm a security guard for an arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your extra small on the armor shirt. Just All right, he just got an extra, extra no small more. shirt and try to squeeze it. Yeah, that is just an extra small on the armor shirt that you've been trying to flex with. <laughs> I, I, Stop I was it. working with them. Go ahead. Put Pat. it to a vote. What y'all going with? I'm never. I'm staying in America. 
Man, Jersey I, Mike's? I've been, I've been low-key thinking about Jersey Mike's ever since we talked the about it. The whole time. <laughs> Yo, Jersey Mike's got the buffalo chicken sandwich. It tastes Ooh. like, it tastes like uh, hot wings. It's amazing. You say they got what now? Hey, they got like the buffalo wings. chicken sandwich. I'm about Not to, even talking I'm, about that. I'm about to go hit up Jersey Mike's, man. Uh, yeah, we finna go uh, hit Jersey Mike's in America, baby. In America. <laughs> Ain't no Jersey Mike's in Africa, man. I don't know what you gonna No, do. they got it in Dubai now. They had church's chicken, but they called it Texas chicken because they can't say church in, in a call it what? <laughs> they called it. You know the church's chicken in the logo, right? I looked at mm -hmm. it. I was in the mall food court in Dubai, and it said uh, Texas chicken, but it was the church's chicken logo. So I went up there, and I was like, hey, y'all know this is church's chicken logo that y'all got up here, right? And the dude was like, yes, but this is a Muslim country. We can't have that. We can't say that. I was like, oh, mm. wow. Really? Wow. That's what he said. And, and none of the, the food and everything? Biscuits it was the all? same exact food. Same no, food. Chicken, no bones in the chicken, though. No, it was the same church as chicken food. Same thing. No bones. What do you mean? There's bones in church Put chicken. it to a vote. <laughs> <laughs> what you raising your hand for, Kim? Kim? Me, she said, she said, what do you mean? She said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going with Never Leave America. I'm never Leave with... America, man. Never I'm leaving and never coming back. America, you be on some bullshit, but we love you, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm staying. America it is. Um, special shout out to our special guests, BT Kingsley and Miss Lulu Gonzalez. And of course, Kev on stage. Uh, shout out to the original <laughs> squad. Doing that. Me and and Meg and Pat just pulled up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ooh, the OG squad, man. in the background. <laughs> is it there now, Kev? Am I strong? No, Kevin. You need more strength in your body. We need our weapons training. <laughs> That's the highlight of the, the episode. I'm updating my uh, dating account right now as we speak. Weapons training. We appreciate training. y'all watching another episode of Squadcast Versus. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace. Yep.